I swear I had these white when I was there. No, ah, yeah, I'm gonna fix. Oh, that's nice, bro. This looks so good right now. So just a couple weeks back, I shot a wedding at the white shanty. Yeah, I know. You gotta have your white balance right there. I was there and I swear I had it right, but unfortunately we had these big windows bringing in natural light, we had these super orange light bulbs, and it was just bound to kind of be a white balance mess. But it's okay. If you're in the same situation, I'm here to help you out. I got a surefire, foolproof, graphic way- Well, not graphic like violent, I mean graphic like I use graphs. They're actually called scopes. Those are your scopes. Now these scopes are gonna change your life. So I only use two primarily. To find them, go to your Lumetri Scopes panel right next to your effects control. And if you're not seeing anything, right click, you'll see four options for the vector scope, histogram, parade, and waveform. I select the waveform and the vector scope. If you're not seeing that, go to Windows, Workspace, Effects. Let me tell you what these mean. The waveform is showing you your image from left to right, and it's showing you how bright everything is on the image and how much red, green, and blue is in it. That means right behind me where that light is, you're gonna see a really bright spot right by it because, well, it's bright. And then where my skin tones are, where my hands are moving around, there's more red in my skin tones. So that's gonna be represented as well in the waveform by that higher red blob moving around. And so with that, we can use these to figure out when our whites are truly white. With the vector scope, this shows you your hue and saturation. The further away these points are from the center, the more saturated it is. The closer it is, the less saturated it is. And where it is in the circle is just showing you the hue, meaning the color. The best thing about the vector scope is that beautiful line going down right there. That's your flesh line. That flesh line is going to save you so much. It saved me. I don't know, maybe you're really good at getting your skin tone styled, but let me walk you through how I fix this. So first, click on your file, then you're gonna go to the Lumetri color panel. From there, you're gonna see all these drop down menus. I'm gonna go to my curves. We're gonna go down to the hue versus saturation curve. What this means is how saturated each color is. So if I take this line and drag it all the way up, it's gonna be really saturated. Or if I take and drag it all the way down, it's gonna desaturate. But if I select little points on it, I can decide how much I wanna saturate the greens or desaturate the greens or the blues or the purples or the reds or the oranges. Oh all of it. So go take that eyedrop tool and select where your spill is. It's going to give you three dots so you can take that middle point and drop it down and that will desaturate that specific color you selected there. So you probably didn't get all the spill, so take those endpoints, drag it out a little bit, and then take some other points and bring it in there to desaturate more of the surrounding spill color. But be careful, if you go a little too far, you're going to end up desaturating some of your skin tones. But that's the problem. We have orange in the spill. How are we going to get rid of that? I got you covered, don't worry. So let's look back at our waveform. We see there's all of this red kind of dominating the scene. So I go to my basic correction and I just drop down the reds just a little bit and maybe a little bit of green. So that whole line right there where it's supposed to be white is now white. That's guaranteed, foolproof. You can take that to the bank. People say that, but you can see there's just that little bit of orange still bleeding into the shirts there. And we wanna clean this up perfect. We want perfect whites, okay? We don't settle for nothing less. That's where the HSL secondary tool comes in. And my goodness, your mind is about to be blown if you never used this before. Basically, I'll explain it as I walk you through it. So often I use this as a separate effect. So let's go up to where it says Lumetri Color. Click that drop down. We're going to select a new Lumetri Color effect and rename it whatever you want. Now go down to your HSL secondary and you're going to take that eyedrop tool, select where the spill is, and then check the color slash gray mark. <gasps> what are we looking at? You're looking at the exact spots where that hue, saturation, and luma is present in your image. What that means is those ranges have selected that exact color at that exact intensity at that exact brightness and is graying out the rest of your image now that doesn't capture all of the spill so again let's adjust those ranges there a little bit so we're capturing all of the spill and none of the skin tones now that you got that selected go down to your saturation and boom slide that on down and for a little tweak maybe just blur that a little bit just to make it all smooth and nice let's look at a little before and after oh look at that I'll do you one better. Now I talked about skin tones. How can we use HSL for that? Plain and simple, you might already know. Let's take this image. Now looking at her skin tones, they might be right, they might not be. Why risk it? Let's use our vector scope. So we go to our HSL secondary tool, take the eyedrop tool, drop it on her skin tone, adjust the ranges to get all of her skin tone and try and leave out everything else that we don't need. And what you see is it's not on the flesh line. 
So let's go down to those three color wheels there and take our midtones and we'll drag it around until that all just lines up on the flash line. And boom, that's guaranteed the right hue. Saturation though is where you gotta be careful. If you drag it way too far out, it may be on the flesh line, but holy, she is cooked. They are way too cooked. That is not right. So that part, you got to eyeball a little bit and kind of decide, all right, how much do I want to do here? You can mess around with the highlights and the shadows as well if there's a lot of brightness ranges on her skin tone. But here, it's mostly all in the mid-tones, so you're kind of chilling. Let's look before and after. Subtle, you might not be able to tell, but this is going to tie everything together. As you see through all of these shots, they didn't look bad out of camera, but touching up those whites made all the difference and now it is so much more cohesive and clean. Your client is gonna eat that up or whoever, I'm, I'm gonna eat that up. I eat that up all the time, come on. Well, that was that. Keep using the metric scopes, subscribe to the channel. If you're looking for more stuff, if you have any questions, um, drop them below. You wanna hang out? I'm down. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> See ya.